Welcome back to Good Night Stories with Gail. We are back reading Just One Night, um, the story of Willem and Allison, and what happens after the door opens. I think uh, we are back in Willem's uncle Daniel's flat, and Allison and Willem are just talking and starting to sort of slowly catch up and unwind what has happened the year before, and we'll take it from there. They tell the story in bits, in tandem. The parts already known, Willem being concussed, the parts guessed, Willem being beaten by the skinheads, Allison fleeing back to London in misery. They share the frustration of never finding out each other's true names, their whole names, email addresses. They remedy that. Willem, Shiloh de Rauter, Allison, Lee, Healy, etc., etc. Allison tells Willem about the letter she wrote him last March when she finally allowed herself to wonder if maybe the worst hadn't happened, if maybe Willem hadn't abandoned her. Willem tells Allison about only just finding out about the letter's existence last month, trying to track it down, and only yesterday finding out what it said. How's that possible, Allison asks. I got the letter back days ago. You got it back, Willem asks, how? When I went to your house, your old house in Utrecht. Broach's place, on Bloomstraat, where he'd spent the dark days following his return from Paris, healing from the beating, from everything really. How did you know to go there, he asks, to Bloomstraat. He hadn't lived there when they'd met, and he hadn't given her any contact information. This was something he had regretted. Allison is embarrassed now, at the length she went through to find him. She doesn't regret going through them, but she understands how overzealous it might look. In her discomfort, she starts to pull her feet away, but Willem won't let her. He holds them fast, and this small gesture gives her the courage to tell him about venturing to Paris, about tracking down Celine, about going to the Hôpital Saint-Louis, about Dr. Robinet and his kindness, the address which led her back to the house in Utrecht, and to the letter. I kept the letter. I actually have it in my backpack. She leans over and pulls out a creased envelope. She hands it to Willem. There are generations of addresses here. Tor's house in Leeds, the original Gorilla Will headquarters. How had she found that? Forwarded to Willem's former houseboat in Amsterdam, since sold, and forwarded on to Bloomstraat. You can read it if you want, Allison offers. Seems beyond the point, Willem says. Though, that isn't why he doesn't want to read it. Tor had instructed someone to email him and tell him what the letter said. He doesn't have the stomach to read the whole letter in front of Allison. But Allison takes the envelope back unfolds the letter inside of it and hands it to him. So we will stop there for tonight's installment of Good Night Stories with Gail and we will be back tomorrow night to carry on the story of Willem and Allison and to let Willem finally hear what the letter said. In the meantime, you can go ahead and pre-order the novella at Amazon, BNN, or iTunes. The links are right there. See you tomorrow night.